Before the players take the field today, it's important that we put things in perspective. To understand where we are, what's happened, and how far we still need to go. September 1st, 2016. One man kneels, and a nation divided can't agree why it moved them. Four years later, 2020, another man kneels, and a nation outraged is newly awakened. The first man was 49er quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who took a knee on the sideline to bring attention to systemic racism in our nation. The second man was a Minneapolis police officer, kneeling not on the ground, but rather on George Floyd's neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds, well over half an NFL quarter. Is that the look of freedom? Who knew that two men kneeling would have such a deep and lasting impact on the world. And for a lot of people, what Cap did made perfect sense. But in the four years since that game day in 2016, despite black lives continuing to be lost, most people went about their daily lives until that second knee robbed George Floyd of his breath and caused a worldwide shockwave. Murals went up, statues came down, players used their voices, and Commissioner Roger Goodell publicly admitted he was wrong expanding a league-wide campaign on social justice. Now, if there's a silver lining here, it's this. The NFL can change, and we can too. So today, realize it's okay to speak up when you see injustice, to listen when you hear someone in pain, and if you feel like it, to take a knee. Take a knee as a symbol of hope. <laughs>